Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn all about the child routes. What are child routes? How do we configure them? What are the use cases? What are the places where it's really helpful? We'll learn all about that in this tutorial. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. I bring over 10 years of uh, experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge with you on the modern technology stacks. I'm also here to learn from you. So during the course of the tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So I will really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance. So a lot of users uh, have been asking me about the full tutorial playlist. So I've created one and I have shared the link in the description box below. So make sure that you check out that to learn all about Angular 9 and really master it. It has all the things from basic to advanced to help you learn and master Angular applications. For the past few episodes, we have been focusing on Angular routing concepts and features. So we have covered so far many tutorial, many features so far. Uh, the list is given here. Uh, please make sure you check them out so that you don't miss out on important concepts. Today we are focusing on child routes. So what are child routes? So child routes allows us to configure meaningful URL segments, which are logically related in one or the other way. The child routes array will follow the same syntax as array routes that we configured in, in the routing. The syntax is we will have the parent route followed by the children, right? And again, it can have the same details like redirect to component, default route, uh, etc. So it's exactly same like the how we define the path uh, routes array. I'll show you hands-on example. Let's get started with that. And I will give you some examples, use cases of how uh, it's really useful and makes sense. All right. So let's get started. Uh, let me open and quick to make notes for you. So, so first uh, we can configure any number of child routes to component or to parent route. Okay. So there is no restriction as to how many routes you can configure or how many child routes we have or how we want to use it. So there is no, um, we can configure any number of child routes throughout the application. There is no uh, restriction to it. That being said, uh, when we configure child routes, uh, the syntax will be, not syntax, syntax will be same as defining defining the routes array. Now, once we do this, once we know that uh, how to define the routes array, it's the same as the child routes array. Now, we can also have multiple various combinations of it. Now, this is nothing but using logical, logical grouping, right? So whenever you think about creating a child route, there are a few questions you should ask yourself that is it logically related? Are they under the same flow? Uh, I think that's the most uh, important question that you should ask. Now, let me give you an example of it. For example, you want all the data related to customers under a similar path, right? So this we will say slash customers. Now the child route could be view. Then we can say edit. Then we can say details. We can say gallery. Uh, and again, view will have info can have gallery uh, can have details right um, here i'll say delete right um, so yeah so you see this is a structure so here it will become customer slash view here it will become customers slash view slash info customers slash customer slash view slash gallery. So you see, these are all related, right? So I can say that this is the parent route and these are all the child routes or this is the child route and 
this these are child routes to view right so these are child routes to the view view is a child route to the parent customer right so this is how you create logical grouping of the functionality to create the child routes so let's get started i will give you an example and we'll take it from there right so what i'm going to do here is so this is not the greatest way trust me uh, this is not the greatest way uh, the greatest way to define it uh, the good way to define is usually creating a separate routing module for customers that's that's how we should do it but you should know how to use child route so that's why i'm covering this tutorial now let's create a child route uh, so for that what i'll do is i'll create for products right so we will say path and we'll say products right so whenever we have products we should point and we can have child we can have children or let me break it down here i'll say children and it again follows the array suit uh, right and here again we will say in the children again we'll say it's an again array of routes so i'll say path uh, whenever there is product path has view it should point to component uh, it should point to product view component okay and then i'm saying product whenever there is edit it should go to product it should go to product edit component and whenever there is a particular product with id right so i will say view with id it should point to component product id component right so makes sense right so now we have logically arranged the products into the respective children path now i can easily get rid of these because i don't want them anymore since i have refactored my code into child routes right so i have products i have view so since we have it here product redirect i can just call it products redirect to products right so now we can let's go and check out our application so here i'm saying products so that's the root since it doesn't have any component we can also mention component here and say give the component name that we want but for now we have not given so instead now i'm going to say products slash view so now it says product view works because it's pointing to product view component similarly i'm saying edit so now it will say product edit component now i'm going to say product view slash 10 so it says page not found because products view okay so product view slash id okay so now it's giving the product id page right similarly you have 20 and it, it works accordingly right so now if you want to capture that value you can go to product view component and here we'll inject activated route activated route and we'll say activated route and in the constructor we will capture here we'll have uh, product product id equal to uh, zero initially and i will say this dot activated route dot params dot uh, since it's a url parameter we are using params uh, we'll subscribe to it and we'll take data and we'll use the arrow operator and capture it here and we can just say this dot product id is equal to data dot right data dot uh, param right so what's the name of the param that we are passing is id so and we will map this in the component here product oh sorry my bad i wrote all this code in the product view uh, it should be in the product id so let's go there and just paste it there okay so that's here right so product dot search dot id 
and this dot product search keyword ID. Now that data instead of query params will make it params now. Okay, so now in the keyword, it's, it should just show you the same value. So you see it's 20, now we go 30, it will be 30 here, right? So we are capturing that value using params. If it was a query param, we'll use query param. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much how um, we have refactored the entire code. And now if you see, it's much clean. All the, all the routes related to products are under one single view, right? So that's the beauty about uh, using, that's the beauty of using children, right? Chil child routes. Uh, like I said, we can also mention component uh, here and uh, let's say products. I'll create a quick component, ng generate component, I'll say products. So this is like a main, uh, you can have a, it's already exist, I think. Uh, products, okay, it's already there. So what we'll do is we'll products component, okay, and comma, and you're done. So here in the products, we'll say welcome. Welcome to main parent route. Okay, so now you see, now I don't, I will not give anything enter it goes to products directly welcome to main parent route because in our app routing dot module we have said that by default the default route should go to products inside the products we can have products slash view it goes so slash view it will say product view component uh, product view component product view it should show product view works it's not let's see that okay products slash view components so now if you give this it will not work with the child so yeah so product view components slash 20 but we can alternatively fix that and say it has to point to a certain component we can fix that and give the child routes from there uh, we can do that as well so that's all about um, child routes. How do you configure? How do you do different variations uh, with the same? So give it a try. Let me know if you have any doubts. I will be happy to help you. In the next episode, I'm going to focus on a very, very important uh, topic and aspect and feature of Angular, which is lazy loading. Make sure you don't want to miss it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the coming important tutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.